Hi, this is Manos Berlakis and Peter Taiti from the Minneapolis Heart Institute presenting case 98 for the second edition of the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case in which CTO techniques were used to salvage a complication of standard PCI. The patient presented with a non-ST elevation of cardiac infarction and was found to have a diffuse disease in a tortuous right coronary artery that was the culprit. We decided to proceed with percutaneous coronary intervention. The right coronary was engaged with the JR4 guide catheter, wire with the standard workhorse guide wire, and then during predilation there was uh, a dissection in the mid part of the right coronary artery after a 3O by 30 millimeter balloon. There was, however, good expansion. We did have significant challenges delivering a stent. And during this process, the guide was lost, as was the wire position. After that, the patient developed chest discomfort, inferior ST segment elevation, and despite trying to re-enter and um, restore flow in the right coronary artery, we were unfortunately unable to do so. So after several minutes of attempts, we decided to change the strategy to a re-entry strategy. We used a Pilot 200 guide wire through a fine cross microcatheter to advance in the subintimal space distal to the area of dissection. And then we used the stingray balloon that was delivered easily because of the lack of calcification into the distal right coronary artery. And now we can see the stingray wire that is exiting proximal to the proximal marker of the stingray balloon, re-entering into the distal vessel. Re-entry actually was very easy because this vessel was not occluded and was of large caliber. The next step was confirmation that we were in the distal true lumen and indeed the wire was in the distal right coronary artery. That was confirmed in a different projection just to ensure that we were in the right place. And after doing that, we then uh, were able to exchange for a workhorse guide wire. To avoid difficulties once again with equipment delivery, we did use a guide catheter extension that was advanced easily all the way to the mid-right coronary artery and were then able to deliver um, several stents that uh, provided a nice final result, restoring TIMI3 flow in the right coronary artery. So in summary, this is another case demonstrating that CTO techniques, specifically re-entry using a knuckle wire and then the stingray balloon, can help salvage a case when there's dissection of the native coronary artery during PCI attempts, instead of having to do something more radical such as emergency coronary bypass. Thank you.